All right, fifth and sixth graders, we are continuing on with our theme park math. So you guys are need, um, you need rock and ride size, you need concession stand conundrum, and you need symmetrical slopes. Okay, those are the three we're gonna do today. Um, the first one, you are gonna find out which um, of the two measurements that they're giving you is reasonable for each ride. All right, which one is makes more sense? All right, you have two different measurements for the width and two different measurements for the length of these different rides. And you're gonna try and figure out which measure is more reasonable, all right? So the first one it gives you is a Ferris wheel. That's the one that's a, um, it's a circle and it has little, um, little cars on it that you can get in and it goes in a circle, right? Um, and so one of those cars, one of those things that you sit on, it's like a bench that you can sit on, right? So if I have this bench that I'm going to sit on, usually two people sit on it. Does it make more sense for my bench? First, we're going to talk about how wide it is. For the bench that I'm sitting on to be five feet wide or 35 inches. All right, think about benches and something that you would actually sit on. Do you, would it make sense for this to be five feet long? Not really, but 36 inches, that's about three feet. That one makes a little more sense for this to be 35 inches. And what about the length, how long that seat is? Should it be six feet or seven yards? Six feet is just a little bit taller than you. Do you think two people could sit? Nicely, probably. What about seven yards? How many feet is seven yards? If three feet is one yard, then this is really 21 yards. And that seems like quite a long bench. So six feet is more of a reasonable size. Do you see how you're gonna do this one? So you have um, a seven rides and you're gonna look at the two measurements that they're gonna give you and say which measurement is more reasonable for um, my right, all right? So this one shouldn't take super long. It should be a quick um, circle, circle for each ride, okay? The next one. This, uh, this activity is going to be about your concessions, the things, the food items that you're gonna sell at your amusement park because what is an amusement park without a snack? Um, and so these are five different items that you're gonna um, have at your theme park and three different sizes that you're gonna have. So the five items and the three sizes for each item. All right, so these are the different things and then we're gonna use this to answer the six questions below. For example, it says, what's the size difference between the largest soda option and the smallest? So we would go to the soda option here. What's the difference between the largest, 31 ounces, and the smallest, 18 ounces? And it says, what's the difference? That means that we are subtracting, all right? So 31 minus 18 is 13 ounces. All right, so you have five more problems to do and use this table with all of your theme park foods to help you, okay? The last thing that we're gonna work on is symmetrical slopes. So you're going to create two rides, but they have to be symmetrical. So you're gonna draw a design for the two rides, but they have to be perfectly this uh, symmetrical, either horizontally or vertically. Now, um, this ride, it's kind of hard to see. Um, you can look at your paper. This is a, is a symmetrical um, ride. A symmetrical ride means that I can draw a line right down the middle and it is the same. All right, sorry guys, my video cut off but symmetrical meaning that it's the same on, um, on both sides, like a mirrored image, all right? So um, another thing that I might draw symmetrically, maybe if I drew this perfectly, I could draw a little smiley face 
if, pretend I do that perfectly, <laughs> okay? And I could draw a line right down the middle and that is a symmetrical shape because it is identical on both sides. So when you draw, you're, you, you have two different rides that you're gonna draw. You could draw a roller coaster, you could draw a Ferris wheel, you could draw whatever ride you want. You get to create your own ride. However, your ride must be symmetrical. So think about drawing a line here in the middle and whatever you create on one side has to be mirrored on the other so if you let's say i wanted my roller coaster to be on a mountain so then i have to try as best as i can to draw my uh, symmetrical on the other side and let's say i do a loop well that would be interesting to have a roller coaster like that then i need to draw the loop on this side does that make sense so it must be the same on both sides and then of course i would design i would draw the i would draw the the um the track and maybe i would draw a example of a car that's symmetrical okay so use your um imagination and design something but remember symmetrical and then make your second design different than the first one, but also symmetrical. All right, have fun, do that math, give me a call if you get stuck.